6.30 a.m. We're getting a good jump on the day. Check out that sunrise. That sunrise had so much potential and then the clouds just killed it. One supplier I really enjoy using is True Grit. They have fantastic service and I'm really happy with everything I purchased from them. Uh, yesterday, a few things came in, some of which Trizact belts. Really interested to see how these work. I posted a picture on Instagram yesterday and tons of guys say that once you start using these, you won't go back, especially for the finished work. So. We're gonna keep going on this blade here. Uh, I'm gonna finish up some of these bevels, gonna heat treat it today, do our holes, get our scales done. Uh, check it out Saturday morning. I should be releasing the build video for this knife. So here's a cool little sanding block I made. Uh, just recently, when you're sanding radiuses, after you grind a, a, a bevel on your contact wheel, depending on the other contact wheel, if you want to do a hand finish, uh, this is handy. This is just a piece of quarter inch aluminum. This is the same material I make the sanding blocks with. And uh, what I did is I just held it up to my contact wheel and I traced that radius on there, cut out my bandsaw, kind of smoothed it out, got it all nice and pretty. I went a little bit undersized uh, on my belt grinder and then I just glued a little piece of leather on there. And that kind of really, really, uh, it kind of takes up any deformities that you have. I mean, to get exactly, exactly 10 inch radius on one of these would be difficult. So that little piece of leather just kind of evens it all out. And when you're hand finishing a bevel, this does a, just a really good job if you're hand finishing a hollow grind. All right, just finished lunch and had a very uh, important conversation, which is some uh, a bunch of exciting things going on right now. Um, but it's only like five degrees above zero right now, but the wind is making it so cold. And the fire went out in here, so I've got to get another fire going so I can warm up so I can uh, do some scale glue up uh, with some of this stuff I'm trying out. West Systems Epoxy. See how it works. Okay, gonna get a little more workable temperature in here. Now, what I've got is a couple of scales to glue up for this uh, blade. And this is what I'm thinking. Uh, this is some weird stuff. I just flattened this out in my milling machine and I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna do something like this. This is a uh, black canvas micarta. I don't know what this is. I forget what this is. I forgot it at knifemaker.ca. Uh, if I remember, I'll try and put it like in the description or maybe a little title over this video, but I forget what this stuff's called. Very uh, brittle when you're machining it though. It chips really easy, so I had to take it easy on the milling machine. And I'm gonna glue these together. Obviously there's a slight discrepancy in the, uh, the height, the thicknesses of them, but that shouldn't matter. Uh, I'm gonna glue in this, uh, this G10 liner that I got, and I want a nice flat place to glue it to, so I've just got this piece of scrap steel, but I gotta get the rust off of it. All right, so this West Systems epoxy stuff, I've tried it on, um, oh, what were they on? Those little, on these. I was using it when I was uh, putting together some of these pocket pal twos. And the one thing I've noticed, the one thing I've noticed for uh, gluing up knife scales, this is the 102, or sorry, 105 and the 205 uh, resin and hardener. And this stuff is a little bit too thin in my opinion for knife scales. The, the reason I say that is because when I usually use like a fast drying epoxy, this stuff is I don't know what they say. This is probably more like four to six hours before it actually starts to really harden up. Um, maybe it's two or three, I forget. But with the five minute epoxies and stuff, I mean, you put them on there, you clamp your blade together and you wipe off all the excess run out and squeeze out and it's not going anywhere. It's, it's pretty much good to go. What I noticed with this stuff is when I had uh, clamped it all together, wiped all the squeeze out, I let it dry and then it, uh, it kept coming out. And when it was all done, 
I ended up having like in this blade area right here some of this uh, real thin thin layer of epoxy I actually squeezed out after I'd wiped everything down with lacquer thinner had it all clamped I thought it would just be good to go but it continued to come out uh, from in between the handle and the tang of the knife so one little tip we were at a hockey tournament a few weeks ago and I put a ticket in on a booze bag and I wanted so it was like a hockey bag full of booze and inside the booze bag were these little tiny little disposable shot glasses these are awesome for mixing up epoxy so works great I mean yeah uh, the one cool thing about these West systems if you have, if you get them always buy them with the pumps because it turns into the easiest way to measure out epoxy it's one pump full pump of the resin and a full pump of the hardener and now I've got the the appropriate mixture for this little kit. We'll just go ahead and mix that up really, really well. You see how thin this is. It is very viscous. If that's the right terminology. It sounds good. You get my obligatory Instagram photo up for today. What do you guys think? Think that looks alright? Alright, so while we're waiting for that to dry, uh, I've got to go take a chicken back to the chicken yard. She's crazy. She's a really crazy chicken. We let our chickens out the free range and then, you know, we kind of open the door and let them all back in at night. And this stupid chicken wouldn't go inside and it actually flew. And then a few days later, my boys were out like playing airsoft out in the field and uh, one of their friends was over and like flew up, scared the crap out of them. And uh, it just flew away again. And so we're like, wow, this is a crazy chicken. That was like two weeks ago. On the weekend, my neighbor called and said, do you guys, are you guys missing a white and black chicken? So anyways, they brought her over in a box last night. It's easy to get chickens when they're sleeping and just put them in a box. So we've got to go put her back in her rightful home. This is the chicken. chicken this is a runaway chicken what kind is it again silver spangled hamburg silver spangled hamburg you don't run away chicken ah! oh man how many eggs do we have we got five holy moly uh there's seven in this one What's up, buddy? Mommy made me a coffee? Mommy made you a coffee. Sweet. Thanks for telling me, bud. You're welcome. I'm gonna come right in, okay? Okay. Coffee time cheers. Alright guys, we made some pretty good progress today. Got these sheets finished up mostly I just need to buff the edges and uh, make them all nice and shiny clean them all up clean up the blades and then on these scales this epoxy is still just a bit tacky it still leaves a fingerprint in there so I'll let this cure overnight and then hopefully tomorrow morning we can take all this apart not tomorrow morning sorry it'll be probably the afternoon we'll take this all apart and hopefully we find some good usable scales in there I'm gonna wrap up the video there guys thanks for joining me I hope you enjoyed cheers